We're here to discuss uh, a very innocuous subject. Uh, innocuous because for many of the times it, it's been shelled somewhere opaquely uh, because we feel it's not necessary. It's about our children. Now, for many young people or children, they go through a lot of stress psychologically, but we don't tend to notice because they don't tend also to exhibit them physically for us to see. More so, we don't have the expertise to notice whether children are stressed or not. We decided to put um, uh, this on, on the banner because uh, we noticed that th there have been concerns being raised on social media, also raised by people we interact with, about how sometimes their children and also children in the communities tend to behave uh, seemingly differently than they usually would. But uh, experts told us apparently it's because many of those children are stressed. Uh, for fathers and mothers, how do we get to the, to the main crux of the matter when we don't know whether children are stressed or not? We'll be having in the studio the Reverend Father Minta. Uh, he is with the St. Theresa's um, uh, Catholic um, uh, School here in Accra, uh, but also with the church. Uh, but he is um, a psychologist, a sociologist, has expertise. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. And um, we'll be looking at whether that subject is prevalent in our society. If it is, how do we deal with it? Uh, we have a story premise in this, but before we play you that story, but uh, we we'll want to foremostly ask you that very question. Children, are they stressed at all? Because children, we, uh, I'm thinking ignorantly, they are always gay, very happy and outgoing. They shouldn't be stressed at all. They have no worries. Well, that's imp uh, what we think, and that is how we perceive them to be, that they are stress-free and that they're enjoying life they're running around so they don't go through that. It's not true. It's not true. Uh, go to our schools, go to uh, other places, and you realize that they are constantly. Now, uh, look at the current uh, uh, curriculum, educational curriculum. From Monday to Sunday, the kids are working. No time for any extracurricular activity, even when they are given. How many minutes? Just some few minutes, break time, they just run around. Uh, four o'clock extra classes, five o'clock weekends, it doesn't end. So they are constantly uh, are going through that. They are constantly going through stress and cons constantly, you know, under fire, parents, teachers, all other, especially in this part of our country. I see. But children uh, usually are not burdened with the things that adults are burdened with. Uh, they just have to go to school, try and learn, and then they are fine. They get to eat well, they get to be clothed well, uh, they get to do whatever it is that they want, just because innocently they are children. Well, they are supposed to eat well, do they eat well? No. They are supposed to be clothed well, do they clothe, do we clothe them well? No. They are supposed to be play well, are they allowed to play? No. So these are what the kids want to do. And then what uh, we do for them or what we plan for them makes it practically impossible for them to enjoy that kind of you know freedom of running around and eating and they don't well we have to take a story the story has been um, filed by um doc has who has been looking at the subject of um, um psychologically children being stressed and how our society we tend to deal with it Stress is a function of the demands placed on us and our ability to meet them. These demands often come from outside sources, such as family, jobs, friends, or school. But it can also come from within, often related to what we think we should be doing versus what we are actually able to do. So stress can affect anyone who feels overwhelmed, even kids. For preschoolers, suppression from parents can cause anxiety. As kids grow older, academic and social pressures, especially from trying to fit in society, create stress. Many kids are too busy to have time to play creatively or relaxed after school. For some young people, the pressures of school can sometimes be unbearable. 14-year-old Lois and Chibuesiako says waking up early to go to school and getting homework done is stressful. She says she loses concentration when she's stressed. Schoolwork stresses me out because most of the time before you, um, you come 
come to school, you have to prepare, read your notes, do your homework, and all this before you go to bed. And when you wake up, you have chores to do. You have to wake up early to get to school on time, and all this makes me tired and stressed. When I'm stressed, I can't think straight. I just sleep so that, because I get tired and I can't really remember th things during, when I'm stressed. Samuel Okwabi says deadlines to school projects comes with a lot of pressure. When we are giving project work or a lot of homework, um, sometimes you have to finish them on time, then learn for the next day. Sometimes we feel lazy. I feel lazy to do my house chores, so it powers up and taking the time to um, finish all stresses me up. Emmeline Pra says shuffling between schoolwork and house chores stresses her. When I, I get house chores to do and I'm also doing my homework or something and my mom calls me to come and do my house chores, I become so confused and don't know what to do. I'm uncomfortable. Yes, and sometimes I, I'm not able to think well when I'm concentrating on my work. Angela Adobia Osei says her mom can be a source of stress sometimes. When you're being taught something in class and then you don't understand and then you go home and then you try to, you try to revise by using like reading textbooks and other things and you don't get it you you, you 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 read a lot and then you don't get it it's really stressful sometimes my mom makes me cry a lot because sometimes she goes out and then i am she, she when she comes back she will tell me that why isn't this done why isn't that done and i tell her that she didn't tell me and then she just starts she gets angry and then she starts insulting me anyhow and then i i just yes it, it stresses me a lot an educational psychologist Colin Sajiman Bedu says stress can cause a setback in the development of children. Stress just as it brings untold effects on adults the same way younger ones uh, children adolescents could also face a number of um, challenges as a result of the stress. A number of children are known to bed wet themselves that is bed wetting because of stress and there are some who may also um, not be able to uh, develop well because of stress. Some children who get stress enormously are also uh, known to also have nightmares at night. And then there are some who also regress to early developmental what stage behaviors. So they may be 15 years old instead of they performing at um, that is synonymous to a 15-year-old, they regress backward. He urged parents not to push their words beyond their limits, as that could be dangerous. So that's how it is. Invariably, we as adults don't tend to notice that the children are a lot more stressed than, than we think. But um, Reverend Minta Mensa, how do we going by the narrations we've had from the student from the St. Teresa School, and just like other students around, um, get to go into the minds of uh, the young people or children and, and know that they are stressed. Because physically, we won't see. No, even physically, we will see. You see, um, it's our upbringing. Uh, we force children to do whatever we want them to do. They are tired, but they must be in class. It's so hard but they must be there. Uh, they want time for themselves, we don't give them. So it's not because the kids themselves don't know, it's not because we don't know, but we think that in their bringing, we should allow them, you know, we should force them to do what we think we want them to do. And I think that is where the problem and uh, the challenge of you know, child formation uh, uh, comes from. Uh, like I was saying, you know, take St. Teresa School for instance, as early as 6, 15, 6, 30, some of the kids are, have been brought to school. Where are they coming from? All over Accra. So you can imagine that some even leave the house as early as 5 a.m. It means that by 4 o'clock, the parents may have to wake them up. And some of the parents will wait till they close from office before they come to pick these kids to, to the house. So between the hours of 4 a.m. and maybe 8 p.m., these kids are working. Their mind's so tired because after class, they have to go for 
uh, extra class, and after extra class, another, you know, all kinds of, just to keep the kids. But I, elsewhere, you know, in other parts of the world, where, you know, between this time and that, one o'clock, two o'clock, class over, and it's over. Let the kids go home, let them run around, let them play around, let them skate, let them sky, whatever they want to do. Let them develop other, you know, talents of theirs. Here we don't have that. Where are the playing fields? Where are the playing grounds? We don't have them. If you see kids playing, they are playing on the main road, sometimes very, very dangerous. You know, the, the, the lorry roads have uh, become uh, uh, football parks for the kids. Th th we don't have things to train the children the way we must train them. And so it's like, it's becoming just one way, one way type of formation. And if you are not academically good, you are out, you know. So having said that, are there signs that we can identify to know that uh, children are stressed? Sure, performance is affected. Sometimes the appetite, either they overeat, they already under eat, they sleep in lectures, uh, they can be aggressive, they can be very bored. It all depends on, on the individual and how sometimes the kids react whenever uh, they feel stressed up. They react in one way or the other by either being uninterested in whatever goes on around them or pretending to be aggressively you know, involved in whatever goes on. But they all manifestation, they all symptoms of no uh, child uh, stress. If these are the signs, why is it that the adults, the parents, the teachers, we don't tend to identify them? Do we even know? And of course, based on our own formation, at the time when uh, we didn't have all this, no. Based on our own formation, at the time when we didn't have all these, okay. So uh, we are forming kids, but we don't even, we don't observe, you see. Uh, we don't observe them, you no. Know, teacher to child ratio, very, very high. You go to some uh, St. Stephen's school in uh, about 100 to a class, and the teacher is handling 100 kids. Will that teacher have the time to identify parents uh, because of also work and their own stress, or whatever they are going through, leave the house early in the morning and come back very late? Do they even have time? Weekends, which are supposed to be spend with parents all kinds of funerals and all kinds of weddings and all kinds of so but the parents are as a matter of fact not close to their kids they don't even know the children i know my kids but uh, well but I, fall, I fall in the category of the funerals and the weddings for you example will. this very weekend I yeah you must wedding. go if you don't go you are not part of the society and so at the end of the day we leave the children okay we don't have time to really observe them to know well no, here you are busy working is okay you may know the, the child but uh, you don't know what is going on now and so if you're not careful sometimes what happens is the kids put on two selves okay uh, how do I you know present myself to my my, 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 my my dad and how do I present myself to the other kids and also my, my peers and this is what is happening in the school uh, parents don't even know uh, they don't know their children because uh, they come to school with a different you know self and 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 then they they, 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 they they are home with a different self because that is the only way they'll be accepted by the parents we want to make this very conversation a lot more interactive than usual so very soon we'll be opening the phone lines but more importantly we will be joined by a, a young person who also will be telling us about uh, what what their own experiences are, and uh, Collins, you see, is with uh, the St. Uh, Theresa School here in Accra, and Collins will be sharing some experiences with us, but uh, we have to go for a break. When we come back, we'll be asking the Reverend Father Minta Mensa um, whether um, the society in which we live, with all the stress that we're having uh, as adults, that also translates to the children. I mean, whether the stress that adults feel also translates to their children before they have their own pattern of stress levels. We'll be right back.
and uh, we th there's this very research uh, we're still talking though uh, we're still talking stress in children there's this very research that was undertaken by uh, a medical um, a medical person wh who is the president of the american academy of pediatrics uh, sandra uh, hassink in ghana would have said dr sandra hassink i think that's more appropriate it says parents seem to be recognizing their own stress but they are not necessarily recognizing the link between what's happening in the family and um, how it's affecting their children. Uh, and she continues in her publication, a child's stress can increase along with the family stress, especially if it goes unrecognized. Well, we've also been joined by um, Collins Jesse Labi. Um, he is uh, a student. He's, thanks for joining me. He's with the uh, St. Theresa's uh, Junior High School. How are you? Fine, thank you. How old are you? I'm 14 years old. 14 years old? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, and, and, and for somebody who is, uh, who, uh, um, is, is 14, then he, she, he falls into the category of a child. Mm. Okay. Um, w w w which ages or levels of children get stressed? I think uh, it, it cuts across. Okay. Because child psychology tells us that as early as 2, 3, 4, 5, the children are taking on roles. And in the role taken, if uh, they are not properly socialized, uh, they are influenced by the environment, not only by the biology or by the by genetic factors, but also by the environment. And so it starts as early as possible. Uh, we all know that uh, children who lose their parents at very tender age are affected in one way or the other by whatever goes on. So it is when f parents are fighting, quarreling their marriages, uh, it also uh, goes a long way to affect the disposition of the kids. So it, it runs across. It's, it's about what role are they taking, who is mentoring them, how is the per what is the person going through, how does the person feel, and based on that, these kids also take those roles upon themselves. And that is why stress begins very early in life and it continues you know when when mom is constantly crying in the house certainly it affects the child and mm. then whatever pains whatever stress that they are going through uh, the child also uh, picks that upon him or herself well Collins um, at 14 uh, you, you're now old enough uh, I think you're in form three yes please form three okay so uh, at what level or how do you know whether, whether you're stressed or not when there's a lot of pressure on me and I don't know what to do at this time and what is going to happen next. Mm. Uh, y usually, um, what, 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 what makes you feel that you're stressed as a, as a child? Uh, I mean, what, what makes you think that, well, I think today I'm tired or I've had enough of it and, and that makes you behave perhaps differently? when you've overworked or your duties for the day is more than usual mm. uh, so that, that would mean what let's say for the whole week you've been learning too much or you've been doing what practically for the whole week you've been learning too much or this day the workload given to you by your parents or your guardians is too much for you or you have to do um, so many academic works that you don't feel relaxed. Okay, you stay with your parents. Yes, please. Your you stay with your parents. Do you do, you do house chores? Yes, please. You, you do some kind of house chores. Yes, please. Okay, uh, so um, you have to combine that with learning. Yes, please. Okay, uh, I, w I would want to ask you a very practical question, um, and, and um, Reverend also raised that very um, uh, subject, and, and I also feel it too with my children. The these days we notice that we have to load you the children from Monday to Sunday all schoolwork, etc. Is that a problem for you as a young person? Yes, please. Why is that? Um, from Monday to Sunday, when we go to, s from Monday to Saturday, sorry, when we go to school, we, are, we work in you school. You go to school Monday to Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> we work in school. After school, when we come home, we are given homeworks to do. That's, and we don't normally get enough time to rest before we do our homeworks then eat, then maybe learn, then sleep, and get ready for the next day. Okay, so typically, describe your itinerary for, let's say, today. As you started, when did you wake up? Uh, what are you going to do? 
um, and then before you, you sleep? I woke up at 5. Mm -hmm. I did my house chores. You woke chores. up at 5 o'clock? Yes, please. Okay. Did my house chores, but dressed up for school, ate my breakfast, then left for school. Um, at school, we learn, we go for break at 9.55, break over 10, 10. 10, 10 a.m. Then we learn till 12.50. Then we go for break. 1.20, we come back to class. And we close normally at 2.45. After that, we go for a third break. Then we wait for extra classes. And so normally, at the end of the day, we close at 4. At 4, if you have to do some sweeping or clean up after school, you do it, you go home. When you go home, you have to relax, do, me, do some house chores that you are supposed to do, eat, do your homework, learn, and go to bed. I see. If, and, and, and they do this constantly, and even we now have, because of the exigencies of the time, the convenience of having a very good school, parents even, let's say, live somewhere around Adenta or Leon Kaswa. Exactly. They have to bring the children exactly. to the inner city. Um, if, okay. Uh, okay, you wanted to say something? Yeah, there is this uh, family in Kasua, and the man works around the okay. Accra. And so I think uh, in trying to beat traffic in Kasua, this man, as early as 4.30 a.m., will come and dump the case beside the Holy Family Catholic Church. And in this case, you go there and they are, in fact, it's dawn, it's not yet morning. And so they'll be sitting there and waiting till, and this man will go to work, work, and then because again he's also trying to avoid the casual traffic, will come back very late, around seven o'clock, seven thirty to pick the kids up. So you can imagine what these kids go through. And that is not an exceptional case. It's all over, all over. If you're not fortunate to be near uh, very close to uh, a school and they have to shuttle you from one end to the other, that's what happens. But that's the kind of lifestyle now we're living in suburban um, Ghana. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. Consistently, if this continues, uh, how does it have a certain repercussion on uh, children like uh, Collins and, and my children, etc.? See, uh, it has uh, what? Mental formation. When at that age you are overly stressed up, when you are overly tired, you know, uh, within you, you are building, you know, some chemicals, okay, that could, you know, some negative, it may have you know, some terrible impact on the person's life. You know, as you go through this, you develop all kinds of sickness, all kinds of diseases, which may be associated with the stress. Okay, that's number one. Number two, our life should not be so tight. Uh, whoever made us, made us in such a way that you have to work, you have to rest, you have to relax, you have to have other things going on around you. Unfortunately, these kids are not privileged. As we are growing up, for instance, you go from, uh, I think, uh, 8 o'clock to no, uh, to 11.30 primary school, you close, and then you come back at 1.30 or 2 o'clock. Depends on which school you went to. Saito. Uh -huh. well, of course, yeah. uh, I, I did uh, the Saito type. So, and then you come back, if you have middle school, 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock, you break and come back 2 o'clock and close at 4. Okay, so you have time to do other things. You can play, you can run, you can do, you no. Know, unlike what is happening in our world of today. Traffic jam in town, people are trying to avoid, and so, you know, financial challenges, even paying school fees. You know, kids are being asked to leave uh, the classroom because parents cannot pay their school fees. And that's always stress on them. It, exactly. No, I mean, the humiliation that you suffer. Sometimes you are in class, they ask you, leave the class, go and stand outside. You know, and for days, they're suffering. All right, so we want to also rope you in into the discussions. We know for many of you who may be watching us outside Accra, uh, perhaps uh, your, your situations are also not different or could be different. But tell us your experiences. But also share your own uh, knowledge and thoughts on the subject. And uh, through the number 0, uh, 0560, 800,000, you can reach us on WhatsApp. But on the phone lines, which will be, we've opened already, 03022. 
11691 or 2 is the number. It's uh, on top of um, a slug there, so at least you can uh, read it. But uh, ideally, would you have had, uh, would you have liked uh, Collins to have had uh, a very relaxed schedule? Yes, please. Why, why, why would you want that? It makes my mind clear for the academic work I'll be given in school, and I'll be able to do my house chores comfortably and go around comfortably. Do you sometimes feel that uh, going by the way perhaps maybe the subjects are packed in school, the way your friends too are your competitors and you have to learn and make sure that you, you regularly are in competition with them, uh, it, it makes you also on edge all the time? Yes. I see. But uh, Father, how then do we manage this as uh, families, as communities and as individuals? I think one of the ways that we can do it is what we are doing right now, creating the awareness. Parents don't even know that their kids go through stress. They think they are suffering. Who? You do know how I suffer before I pay your school fees? Shut up. I've, you, said, I've said that a couple of times. Yeah. Shut up. Do you know what, uh, how we struggle to get your school fees? You are lucky. When we are growing up, do you know what we went through? And so we pump all this uh, uh, in the minds of the kids. Like, they, 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 they can't even express it because, like, keep quiet and do what we want you to do. We have Justice, and you're calling us from Bonafu region. Where exactly in the Bonafu region? In the Bonafu region. Where exactly, please? Sampa, Sampa, please. Ah, Sampa, Sampa, Sampa. Sampa, Sampa. Yes, okay, yes. please go ahead, Justice. Um, um, Roland, um, your, your program is quite an interesting one, and we are enjoying it this morning. Thank you. Um, uh, the stress. Stress in children is one thing we haven't given so much prominence in this country. Mm. And I believe that it is an opportunity for us all to take um, care about it. Now, there are times when uh, your, 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 your panelists have spoken about a lot of the things. There was one thing I was expecting probably they could speak about, but maybe they, they, they forgot. And that is, look at how today we are made to do things we don't want to do. In the case of our children, um, some children do not. Some, some children want to be artists; their parents want them to be doctors. Mm -hmm. Others want to be journalists; their parents want them to be engineers. I mean, this is a lot of stress. You go to school; you, your interest is to draw. Your interest to, is to do one other thing. You are asked to do science. You are asked to do mathematics, arithmetic, and this causes a lot of stress on your mind. A mm -hmm. lot, a lot of stress. And that is not it alone. There are a whole lot of things. Mm. And it's quite an interesting program. We are enjoying it. I would love for other people to join. Thank well, you. well, thank you very much. And uh, we thank you for that very call from Sampa. But uh, from Dambai, we have Joseph also joining us from the line. Uh, Joseph, what, what particularly interests you on this very subject? And what are your own experiences on, on stress among children? Yeah, what, um, what I want to ask is if I really need help, I'm experiencing the five kids. And uh, I work with a beverage company, and I've been transferred to a provider by the So in this case, as with your program going on about stress management, in this case, how would my absence affect my children? Mm. And what should me as a father I really need really advice? Okay, your line is a bit faint, but we heard uh, invariably what you wanted to say, Joseph, from Dubai. But, uh, Father, let's look at this. Uh, he's working. Um, he's been transferred. And he, he wants his children to be at another place, but even if he, they have to come alongside with him. W usually, w w what, what do children go through in that regard? Uh, you say we have many kids who have no fathers. I mean, they, they, they have fathers, but fathers who are absent. Okay, they are never there because of work, because of other things. How many Ghanaians are married? They come, make the babies here, run back to Europe and stay there. The next two years, they come back. Everything's mature. They, they leave one inside, then they go, you know. So you have, in the past, okay, society was compensating for that. Your uncles, your aunties, living in the compound house was quite good. Now we've lost all these values. So what is happening is that the kids are growing without their fathers. Mm. And that also has negative impact on their lives. 
the fact that you know the boys would always like to uh, imitate the rules of their father and role taking they try to move along that of the father but unfortunately it's now uh, it doesn't exist well we have a caller from Kaswa uh, please watch your name what's your name sir hello 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 I'm here okay please watch your name and, and where are you calling from please hello hello yes I'm here uh -huh. I would advise that you listen to us on the phone instead of trying to listen to Ben what, 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 what is coming from the TV? Please lower the volume of your set so that we communicate on the phone. That's better. Are you okay now, Johnson? Okay, Andy. Can we take Andy? Andy from Mesikuma. Yeah, it's an interesting topic you are handling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I've realized that uh, most of our private, especially this area, there was one private school that even on Christmas Day, 25th, oh. children went for classes. Sure. <laughs> Seriously. And you, your team can come and do the investigation. But it's serious. What are we, are, are they in competition? It's serious. All just because they want to make money. Children are being put, placed off every time. We don't look at that. We don't look at the money. We should not make our money at the expense of the children suffering. I don't call that education. Yeah. They are suffering. It's serious. Because children go to school, close at five. Hmm. And then 30 days they go there and you don't even see what they teach them. All just because they want to make money. <laughs> Threaten them. If they don't pay the following day, they came them. I believe Yes, and all those stakeholders in charge of the private schools need to look at all these things. Mm. Thank you very much. Well, Andy, well noted. And Andy is calling us from Esikuma, and just close by also is the Volta region. And uh, you're calling us from somewhere in the Volta region. Where exactly are you, Eugenia? I'm Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Well, yes. F1. My first is Eh. All right. So, uh, now, what really is your contribution to the subject? Actually, this stress is really a problem with the children. But, um, mostly it happens when they are not staying with their parents, but they are biological parents. Mostly when they stay with their aunts or other relatives of the family, they go to the stress more mm. than even those staying with their parents because they do a lot of house chores before going to school. Even the distance from the school and their house is very far. And they have to walk. Before they get to the school, they are tired. I see. So I think even we talking about the parents, we should tackle the other ones that are living with their relatives. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we'll be speaking to somebody else now, but, uh, but, but you, for example, um, um, Collins, um, somebody will say that relatively because you live in Accra, you should be better off than somebody who is in a community has to walk like what Eugenia is painting from Georgia. Mm. Um, so, uh, actually, those are, you can't have a, you can't eat your cake and have it. Why should, why should a child say that I'm stressed in that regard? Um, as I said earlier on, overload of work. <laughs> you wake up early in the morning, you work. I, for instance, have to walk to school from where I stay. And I believe by the time I get to school, I'll be tired. And it won't give me a clear mind for the next, for my academic work I'm about to do. And through school, you move up and down. You have to get up, um, sit, read, talk, and a whole lot. But the school provides us with some um, activities that helps us to stay relaxed. Like? We have physical education. During our morning assemblies, we sing, we march to our classrooms. And normally, we also have extracurricular activities mm. like sports, um, drama club, debate, 
club and at some extracurricular activity. What's that, what type of music do you yeah. like apart from? Don't mind your father here, but <laughs> what type of music do you, do, you, do, you, do you like to perhaps use that to release stress and movies and things? Um, hip hop and hip life. Hip hop and hip life. <laughs> I'll be in to ask you who is your <laughs> best musician. But, but going by this, the children mm. also seem to have a mind of their own mm. because these days children are growing a lot more, have grown a lot more comparably uh, for their ages than our time mm. or your time. Mm. How does that also play on the way they manage their stress levels? This is where sometimes a uh, kind of subculture is formed, you know. Uh, if parents can't provide, if I'm overly stressed, up, then like-minded individuals will have to come together and do other things. Okay. Many of the uh, social vices today are as a result of kids trying to cope with the stress. Mm. How come that a child that's seven, eight, nine is smoking? They are taking weed. They are taking all kinds of stuff. They're experimenting, you say? You might call it experimenting, but they are dealing with their stress levels. Okay. We have Jack Bata, Mami, uh, from Mami Krobo. Okay, you're calling from Mami Krobo. Jack Bata. Hello. Morning. Hello, Jack Bata. You're calling from Mami yes. Krobo. Yes, ma'am. Uh, wh where is Mami Krobo? Uh, Mami Krobo is in Afram Plains. Afram Plains. Okay, yes. great. Uh, but you are not stressed there. You have local food, everything you need, fish in the Volta Lake. What's your problem? Yes. Um, I just want to contribute to the program. <laughs> Please uh, do, Jack In relation to the village setting. Mm -hmm. um, as I, you know, my good brother was saying that they are loaded with a lot of academic exercise. Here we also have a problem of um, children also working long distance. And uh, after school, they are also supposed to go back working again to go and help their parents at home. So coupled with um, household chores, um, child labor, academic work, it also increases the stress level of the children. So it is not only academic work alone. If you see children carrying two beds of yam to go and sell after school, um, what time did they get fed? These are all some of some of the factors contributing to some of these deaths in the children. So, mm -hmm. if if we are able to help parents understand that education is necessary for their children, and that they are not supposed to work in terms of labor, in terms of selling, and they also, oh, Jacquard has dropped off the line. But then that brings me to the question because, from what I've been reading, um, it, the American Association, mm -hmm. Medical Association, yeah. uh, says st stress relievers in children, TVs, movies, solitary pursuits of video games, uh, outlets, uh, relaxation with family, etc. But for someone who lives in their farm plains, relaxation is work. Way. Yeah. Uh, how how do we draw the balance between the stress that uh, Collins faces in Accra and the stress that Jack Butter's uh, nephews or nieces will be facing in their farm place? No, uh, they all stress. <laughs> whether in Accra or you know, it it it's, it depends on the environment. Okay. Then, how do we manage them then? Uh, managing, uh, I think, uh, creating awareness is very very important. In the case of Afram Plains, there are places that you can go and play football to manage it. Here in Accra, they don't have the place. They don't have it. In the case of Afram Plains, well, they might go and for sightseeing, seeing uh, the local animals and doing quarry and hunting. It also manages their stress in a way. Here, they might not have it. Where do they go? So uh, the difference between Afram Plains and Accra uh, is the fact that the environment is playing uh, a particular role at a particular time. Um, <clears throat> when it, those in Accra, one may say they are better off, but are they really better off? They are better off because there are some, there are some you know, amenities that makes life easier and better for them. Mm. But what they go through within is not so much about the things around them. 
so much about what they experience within them. You may even be playing the computer games and others, but again, that could also be another, as another thing. Okay. You see, we don't have, we, we, we are training kids over emphasis on academic achievement. Is it wrong? Yes. You have to be first all the time. No, it's wrong. You see, whoever <laughs> thought a Samoyan could bring in more mil many millions of dollars to Ghana than somebody who went to well, you're the, the Ghana well, you're not school. We are not presupposing that a Samoyan was not intelligent at school. Right? I'm not he saying that. He just decided to play football. No, exactly. So football is another aspect. I will, I will get what I mean. Yes. Football is another I'm aspect. I'm talking about interest to release stress. No. Because he's having fun making money. He's having fun making money. <laughs> okay. He, but once upon, in the past, I'm sure the parents that have beaten them say, look, as a boy that you don't want to go to school, you are playing soccer, and this is how they'll punish you for, for just leaving the classroom and going to play. Okay, because all of us, or our parents have been made to understand one, or have been, for what reason, they think that sit down and read. If you don't read, you are off. We've forgotten that there are other means by which people can also make it in life. Not necessarily through the books. That is where I think as a nation, uh, we we'll have to consider and then reconsider and think of what other things. Because like, I, I was uh, at a hotel club. They have a very beautiful uh, place for child with uh, physical disabilities. Uh, There's the Down syndrome and whatever you can Autism. think about. Autism. Yeah, autis autism and others. And one thing they try to tell the parents is that don't, don't think your child will be able to go to university. But we are bringing the child here, so at least, if nothing at all, the child will be able to take care of him or herself. I see. But, but the parents are disappointed. Because so, so you're saying that the parents also need to play a role in, in releasing children Certainly. out of the stress? Certainly. Mm -hmm. Because of, of they, we put a lot of pressure on the kids. Okay. So if I'm not academically good, what, do I, what happens? I remember when we were growing up, you know, when, when we get zero, teachers who spend hours on end in drawing the zero with ears, nose, and you know, look at the Humiliating seconds, you. The seconds and the minutes using to draw the zero and then with the human head, that could have been used in doing something else. Okay, <clears throat> so we have to let you go, our time is up. But it's been interesting talking to you as well. But as we go, from your perspective, how would you want to have your stress re re relieved? Do you want less subjects for you to work on? and be rather good at the few that you think you'll be good at and be a lot more focused at home? Would you want a less, uh, less at stress levels by maybe doing a lot more work for what you do and what you love uh, and things like that? Um, I think having an idea on all the subjects is good and they should, and we should also be trained on our skills because I may be good in sports you may be good in science and i can make money out of sports you can make money out of science so we should um they sh um our teachers our parents our guardians should really take time to improve on our skills and work on them for us to make something out of it what do you want to be when you grow um i want to be an architect oh, okay so you so you take your masters and think seriously Yes. You need to take your math and physics seriously. All right. Um, and uh, you say you love uh, hip life. Um, your best musicians are who? <laughs> um, Chris Brown and Joey B. Joey B? Yes. Ghana? Yes. Oh. Okay. Chris Brown and Joey B. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. And then also, um, as we wrap up, what advice would you give the parents to play the complementary role uh, in making sure that because they live with the children, they're able to better manage their stress levels? I want to say that uh, we grew up under different circumstances and under different environment. Our kids are growing up under different environment too. Our parents must acknowledge the fact that they cannot impose or superimpose whatever they went through on the kids. They should allow the kids to develop whatever talents and gifts that they have too. <clears throat> Working and getting money is not equal to child formation. I think we are overly placing emphasis on work money and then to the neglect of other things. And I would suggest that uh, parents must uh, pay more attention to child development and formation. What if you have all the millions and your child becomes something else? And unfortunately, that is what is happening. 
there are very good families who unfortunately could not manage at the stress level of their kids and they have managed it themselves and now they are suffering and paying for, for that. So uh, that three, teachers, teachers, I, I think uh, uh, teachers must be made to pay uh, attention to the training of the, of the children. Not so much about giving exercise and so much about beating because there are other things that make a child a child. No, there are other things. So they should be looking at those things and identify the gifts and talents. And then when the kids are down, they should be able to identify them and then play the role of mother, father. Because many kids spend more hours with their teachers than with their parents. And so parenting must be taught to teachers. So they become another father, another mother. And by so doing, the kids will grow up to become balanced, even where they have lost this kind of balance. Well, thank you very much. And uh, we have had in the studio the Reverend Father Minta Mensa. He is with the St. Theresa's uh, Parish um, here in Accra. And uh, we also have uh, a student from the St. Theresa's Junior High School and Collins Jesse Labi. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. 14 year old. Loves Joey B and Chris <laughs> Brown. <laughs> Which secondary school would you want to attend? St. Peter's. St. Peter's, Peter's in Kutia. <laughs> all right. So I wish the two of you all the best. But we've been talking about stress and stress levels among children.